so i want i want to do one announcement but before that i want presence of everyone so they should not feel bad actually if someone is coming 5 minutes late and that's why they should not miss that because that is dependent on time actually so after giving announcement whoever is going to uh, come forward first so those will be considered actually first 10 so that's why i want presence of everyone otherwise they will think that oh i am missing so again chin prabhu is not there acha who is that g8x think check it and also g without names j8x who is that j8x think so before that just i will do this announcement after 5 minutes exactly by 6:50 who ever comes and don't come no problem so by that time so we'll just revise our previous things so what we were discussing in the last class we were discussing about that is conversation between the narada and vasudev so also we discussed that ब्रह्मज्ञानम विदउट भक्ति विदउट कृष्ण अच्युत भाव सो दट इज नाट यूजफुल एक्चुअली इट इज नाट गोयिंग टू गिव इट्स ओन रिजल्ट दट पॉइंट वी डिस्कस्ड एंड ऑलसो कर्म एनी फ्रूटिव एक्टिविटी दट इज इट्स इज अ पेनफुल थिंग वाइल प्रैक्टिस एंड ऑलसो एट द टाइम ऑफ रिजल्ट बोथ इन बोथ टाइम बोथ ऑफ द टाइम्स सो it is painful and any nishkama karma it means adav akaranam without any expectation of the fruit that karma also will not give its result that is purifying the heart that cannot be given by that if it is not offered to the lord so that we discussed then after that vyasdev is say so narada is saying that so it is very is injustice so giving fruit of activities as the as the dharma for the people who are naturally interested in that jugupsitam dharma krutenu shasatah swabhava raktasya mahan vatikramah this we saw in that flow that is a 13th slok a 15th sloka then after that tyaktva swadharmam charanam bhujam hare bhajan napakkotha pate tato yadi yatra kwava abhadra ud amushyakim ko varda apto abhajatam swadharmatah and what this is saying this is also saying that if anyone is living his swadharma he living his nitya naimittika karma nitya karma means regular activities naimittika karma means so special activities so by that you are going to achieve the different kinds of the results like if a king he will be doing the some yaga for achieving the swarga so like that so various special activities for this specific result so those both if anyone lives and takes up the bhakti then there is no loss even if he is not able to become perfect in that bhakti of course because even if we get the animal body so that is not a big loss for him okay so that is also said 
that means from this you are understanding from the teachings of the narada or otherwise so chastising narada is chastising vyasadev so in this whole universe material world what is the highest thing that is bhakti so anything can be sacrificed for getting the bhakti even swadharma also you can sacrifice you can leave that no problem but so bhakti is is very important so next uh, <clears throat> who is that g8x think then block that uh, uh. if you are not going to reply then we'll block come with the proper name remove yes okay so next so like this so you should understand the teachings of the narada and also gnana without bhakti is not fruitless nishkama karma yoga is not fruit uh, is, is, is without bhakti it is, is fruitless and also without the bhakti nishkama karma is also fruitless like this we are seeing that bhakti is the highest abhideya okay so then we have to go for the next anusheda that is 24 so before going to this now i am going to do announcement okay we are going to do the innovative uh teaching techniques implement that and i am going to share one file uh, that means screen share so what is this to encourage students creativity we are going to start some new program and also we should understand the students time also ability what is this in bhakti sandarbha we are going to have for first module three exams okay so total three exams in those three exams so if you pass then you will be getting the certificate bhakti sandarbha certificate from the iskan bhagavat maya vidyalay and which is useful for you in future so to be a teacher of bhakti sandarbha in your branch through uh, we are going to start this program in other temples also so we'll try to work out with the iskan educational ministry and we'll try to implement this so anyway that means i want to say certificate is also is important because you should be recognized as a student of bhakti sandarbha or also successfully completed so now what i want to say so in this system so we are having three exams that means 50 50 anushtha total 153 anushtha are the this first module so i am going to conduct at least three exams and if needed at maximum four at least three at maximum four because if big big anushtadas then i cannot conduct so such a big exam so but exam is 100 marks exam and you will be writing three hours so this is the system so because yeah we need to check and it will be the descriptive type it's not objective type and yeah we are going to give option for you whether you write exam or whether you make ppt so first 50 anuchedas are there now we are at the 24 anucheda and if you make ppt on this 50 anuch anuchedas so that is also evaluated and marks will be given for that we are also giving 100 marks for that and there is assessment plan for that also 
and either you give the, give the ppt or whether you should otherwise you can appear for the exam that is optional that means if you are going to do ppt you are not going to have the exam but then we consider you are passing we are eval we are going to evaluate that ppt and it is proper and up to the mark we will give the guidelines for you so if you follow those guidelines and fulfill then you will get marks for that assessment will be there for the ppt also okay so now how many members can be allowed for the ppt that is also limit is there it's not that the everyone is going to give the ppt so we are going to select only five people actually so that means five members are allowed to do ppt okay only five members and we are going to take 10 names 10 names we are going to take out of that five only we select so we'll do the interview for that i will do interview for that so 10 names will be accepted who are those 10 first come first serve so whoever is applying first that means i want to do ppt so then so then then, then what will happen then he this person is is taken and he is going to yeah so then he will be interviewed that means what is his experience in ppts i will ask sample ppt whatever you did previously show me that and also you were that means it should be uh, it's not just filling the text in that it should be properly pictorial and also using the so many soft skills in that and animations like that so what is going to happen so by this what is the advantage for them ppt makers the advantage is they are going to have the material thoroughly with them and that is useful for their preaching okay and also what is the advantage for me so i can use that for the next teaching so so, so that if he is making ppt he cannot put the effort to memorizing the things he should understand nicely text and make the ppt done so that much is expectation that's all writing exams and memorizing so that is a one kind of skill every student is not having that kind of skill that means memorizing the big big uh, questions and appearing for that it's not possible for him so that's the best is what so different skills should be appreciated by in the classroom so whoever is interested in this kind of thing so he should be and also in future i want to add one more thing so whoever is going to make multiple choice questions on these 50 anuchedas and properly doing that and for them also i want to exempt the exam either you write the exam or make the ppt or the multiple choice questions make the multiple choice questions either of one if you do and it is everything is evaluated it's not that the it's just uh, uh, simply uh, submitting something no so now okay so first 10 names i am going to take first so how to do this first come first serve so raise the hands one two three four electronic hands you should raise four four is okay one two three four and uh, five five in that five one more one more six done done over over so take those names satil gopal prabhu who is going to take nam nam sankirtan write the names yeah one is nam ruchi prabhu savya chachi prabhu sachi dev prabhu govardhan prabhu jay gopinath prabhu lila goind prabhu Jai Gopinath, Leela Govind. Sachi Dev, Gaurdhan Prabhu, and Leela Govind Prabhu. Who is that? Uh, he already, I took name. Okay, next, uh, Akshay Hari Prabhu, Sarveshwar Samsonar Prabhu, 
Chaitanya Jeevan and yourself. Ten names. So I will conduct tomorrow interview. MCQs. So MCQs. Is anybody ready for that? <laughs> okay, tomorrow I will announce that. I will think of that. MCQs they can do or not. Over already. <laughs> okay. Thanks. If can request is that na? No? Yeah. Just like that. Uh, Sandarva. There is fifty marks question. Uh, paper were there, yeah. and one and half hours almost. And now Bhakti Sandarva. Now again hundred marks, three hours. Yes. Increasing. So is there any like, system like that? Ni? Sandarbhas are there. Because no? many Anushadas, na, this is. And uh, it's a big Anushadas. Uh, big syllabus is more. Sattva Sandarbha is only 60 Anushadas are, are there. And also small. And Bhakti Sandarbha Anushadas are big. So if we want to test thoroughly, so we need to have the... Otherwise, three hours exam or otherwise, one and a half hour, six exams. Anything is okay. 25, 25 Anushadas. One and a half hour exam is six exams. Or otherwise, three hours exam, three exams. So anything is okay for me. Because subject is one and so many exams. And the final is even though schools, college also, in some one subject matter, there's one exam, final exam is there. Yeah. So we have, this is this test is different, semester is different, the final exam different. So if, uh, because tension is same, not like that, uh, uh, unit test is there uh, with, with, for us it's like a final exam only for one subject is so oh, this up to uh, uh, whether 50 on seda 100 on seda once teaching is given and question is pattern set then you take the exams so it will be okay otherwise so many exams for one subject so uh, sometimes there's uh, sometimes 50 hour 50 marks sometimes uh, 100 marks. So, can you some uh, mercy? Not like that. Uh, something I'm openly ex explaining, uh, expressing. Not like that. Somebody express. Somebody doesn't express. So, for me, actually, uh, like the tension. <laughs> this exam. So, I'm ready to give exam. I'm giving exam, but not like that. Any time set. Uh, Today exam you enjoyed or not? <laughs> You enjoy today exam or not? <laughs> My exams are like that only. I don't screw up the students actually. Okay. So I will tell the important questions and prepare for that and give the exam. So so my intention is not torturing the students, but uh, they should happily learn it and uh, perform that. So okay, we can no problem. We can give the question bank for you. I definitely I will give question bank before 10 days of the exam. And also, if you have any difficulty in those questions, we'll discuss in the class if you have any for the answers. Okay. And then after that, important questions also, I will say a few for you, for you. Then it's okay. And prepare for those and give. So tomorrow I will think of, that means this about this multiple choice questions. So maybe I want to take two or three students for that. So, so that I will examine the exam and PPT. Okay, it's fine for everyone, okay? Okay, any question or anything? They are still having the raising their hands. Yes, Ashtray Gorang Prabhu. Thank you, Sri Prabhu. Uh, in PPT's guideline, I read that pictorial less of text. Yes, yeah. I did not raise hand because <laughs> if I had to find the pictures and not text, then it will be difficult. Otherwise, I can make the PPT, but um, yeah. that animation also means animation. What can I, the one animation means the text comes yeah. uh, slowly comes, it goes. That is animation. And other animation means animated videos. Or animated pictures so yeah. that is time taking what are you I'm just if you simple ppt like uh, generally in education uh, ppt's are generally text based more text in education 
text in, but text are very nicely for comes one after another, and that's I can do that. But if you are expecting more pictures, like like new preaching program, we put lot of pictures in there. But in such kind of educational like Bhakti Sandarbha, it's difficult to convey the message only through pictures. Yeah, especially you see, if you people observe while I explain, many times I will make the pictures actually. I draw. That is diagram, which we can use those diagram in. Diagrams pictures. we can use. Pictures means so creativity should be there actually. It's not just uh, uh, like you see. For example, recent Jay Gopinath Prabhu did one PPT. So little creativity should be there. So now Brahma Shiva Gunavatara Sid we are discussing. So keeping the pictures of Brahma Shiva and Vishnu, and then after that. So some diagrams and some soft skills, these things. If you introduce, most this okay. Some Brahma picture, no, okay, but convey whole uh, teachings through yeah. picture will be difficult. Text will be required so much because most this is actually, most very. This this yeah. book is like that. Yeah, it it is also possible. That means that is the creativity, Prabhu. So as much as if we go deep into the subject, so it will become very. That means. Easy, actually, easily we can express that. Like example, we are parichchayda vada, parichchinna vada, and pradibhimba vada. You can easily make the diagrams for that. So of course, a very difficult philosophy. So that's why actually, it demands the some deep immersion into that subject matter. Then that will just reveal you how to present that in the form of pictures. So as much as you go deep into the subject, so that will definitely will bring out the yeah pictures. We'll expect at least we'll see. Let us see how the students will perform, and if they face any difficulty, I will help. Yeah. So and one more point in this, what I was saying, uh, PPT, how it should look, some basic ideology I want to give. Uh, where is that? Where is that? I want to also try. And if it doesn't work, then I'll just do. Because whoever is making PPT, he will not get time to prepare and memorize. Memorizing is a burden for him then. So go sub deeply into the subject. What is the need of memorizing? Because nowadays everything is just presented through the laptop and technology. Actually, so yeah. So that's why in future, so we can do also workshops or something. So by that, this memorization can be reduced. So in the PPT criteria, pictorial and less of text. It should be more pictorial and less of text. Should use smart art than the simple text. Yeah, what is this? I didn't get smart art. Smart art means like, like you see diagrams and flow diagrams. This is known as smart art actually. Smart art. So we can just make a diagram somewhere, and there are different tools are available. And those things you can implement in the PPT. And next, uh, if at all any text, then preferably slokas only. So mostly slokas you can keep as it is. And, and next, animations are encouraged. Concepts should be reflected very clearly. So by seeing that concept should be clear. Yes. So and should use proper diacritics. Diacritics are necessary. These are the. Different things actually, different features, and also I will help actually students who are going to do PPT. Initially, I will be sitting and increase doing something on Saturday Sundays. So sometime I will give to them some slot, so half an hour or one hour slot for them, so they can express difficulties and they can discuss with me. Okay, and the time target for them to submit. After closed book exam, ten days extra will give for them. Ten days extra for them. After closed book, 
so within 10 days after that within 10 days they should submit okay this is and this is for only first 50 anushedas and next 50 anushed he wants to shift back to the exam no problem he can come back actually oh it's my god it's taking more time and i don't want and i am feeling difficulty then he can switch back to the so writing exams also no problem and at that time some vacancy is there then i will take the for that filling vacancy if someone is interested to do ppt for the next 50 anuchedas then i will take them for the ppt like this and yeah so next uh, i am also translating so i want to exempt the exam for the someone who is going to edit my book that is also i am going to give that option <laughs> but they are not now presently but i will give later actually and no exam for him okay and next one more option also will give whoever is making questions and answer key for them also will give exemption but no <laughs> not now now those in future will do that huh huh eh? what eh? what for a cleaning service no <laughs> for cleaning <laughs> for a cleaning service we don't give any exemption <laughs> giving donations <laughs> <laughs> giving donations yeah if you give, give big amount of donation we will get but that is not good actually donations are cleaning it should be related to the learning learning aspect so there's a minimum expectation if you do this much learning of this subject through any way through the ppt through the question banks through the uh, multiple choice questions if you make and through the editing that book so anyway that will is reflecting your understanding on that subject matter then we should pass them why we have to expect only exam what is, is there any system any rule like that they should write exam and pass it's not like that yeah we should bring that also into bhakti vaibhav but we don't have that option in our hands <laughs> because bhakti sandarbha course is in our hands so we can do that but bhakti vai boy is under the board and also in future i want to increase some presentations only just that is for the uh, that will not carry any marks presently in this batch but in future we'll see that if someone is going to has to give presentation on this just one anushedha you can select and give the presentation for the 10 minutes like that so we can give the marks for the additional marks for that that i'll see first we are starting with this okay next what questions sachidev prabhu yeah 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 hari krishna prabhu ji hari krishna prabhu and under was prana prabhu ji i had raised my hand for the mcq so one slot gets free for the powerpoint because why i raised my hand for mcq because in our temple over here in mumbai i am heading the department for preparing mcqs for the cc exam i've been doing this since last one year so i have a experience in that so therefore i had raised my hand for mcq so i would request you that tomorrow when you decide please include me for mcq and thereby i release i one slot for this uh, ppt get to release by me hari krishna uh, you are saying in your temple mcq what you are doing i uh, couldn't prabhu ji prabhu ji we are having cc pe chaitanya charitamrita ke upar exam hota hai and for that i am the head of the department for preparing mcq question answers for the exam okay so i i i have a i have a knack of uh, dividing the mcq into easy medium and tough ones and confusing ones in these four depart in these four classifications i prepare these mcqs and then i rearrange them in a in a random order order yes. so i would like you to include me for this mcq hare oh nice actually so but you should know subject also na for the bhakti sandarbha mcqs yeah so i'm confident to do the mcq part of it oh very nice so tomorrow i will uh, finalize this and let you know okay yeah, but please include my name tomorrow first because I'm exiting out of the PPT today. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, bro. Nice. Jai Gopinath, yes. Uh, yes, bro. Uh, am I audible? Yes, bro. 
uh, uh, this is regarding the uh, topics. Uh, each devotee will be getting uh, one one topic, or you will be assigning teams to make these PPTs, or, or a specific uh, topic you will give, or we can choose how how that will be. Total fifty anushadas they should do. That will be group work. No, no, not group work. It means everyone should do fifty. Yes. Oh my. Oh, for each uh, uh, anushada they have to do. Ah. One one PPT. Not one one PPT. Sometimes ah. team you can take. So if you okay. want that, that kind of idea, so how many PPTs we can, uh, how many slides we can. It's not. It's one PPT only. Fifty anushas you can do one PPT only. But oh, okay. it cover the concept actually. It should cover the concept. Okay. It's not. Uh, we have many PPTs, but one PPT. But you should go the flow. The how the flow is going, and what is the connections, and what is the important point. So it's not a big thing, Prabhu. Actually, fifty anushas, small, small, two lines, three lines. You you grasp the concept of that, and then explain. Yes. And yeah, that means these five will be everyone is doing everything. It's not that the only some little chunk they will do. No. Okay. Yeah, it will not take much time. Also, I can assure we can have a meeting once the students are finalized for PPT. We can have a meeting for that. So how to do this? Then we can. That is help. That is helpful for you. Okay. Okay. Ah, if you may combine, then it is difficult. <laughs> someone will do, and someone will not do. A master, a prabhu. Prabhuji, just uh, one uh, ah. idea I am throwing. I mean, uh, PPT. What you are considering is very good. Uh, instead, uh, I have also done some work. on bhagavad gita uh, yeah. it is not ppt prabhu ji it is uh, what it is called i am just missing the uh, missing the word the keyword so it is some kind of uh, flow chart so that is an uh, that can be generated in a web page html i will just share with you offline and you just check prabhu ji and if you like then you for uh, for creating this like bhagavad gita i have created flows like okay. various okay. chapters and uh, based on chatan chatan prabhu's classes If yes. you like, Prabhuji, like you give the comment. Yes, yes. That, just, I, yeah. that is uh, what you say that uh, that diagrams. Yeah. Huh? Mind map. Mind map. Mind map. Yes, Prabhuji. Mind map. Yeah. Mind map. I have created for Bhagavad Gita. Not yes. complete eighteen chapter, but uh, yeah. around twelve uh, chapters I have created. So yes. you can have a look, Prabhuji. I think for this kind of flow, that is also very good. Yes, yes. Tomorrow I will let you know about the mind map and MCQ. We will do mind map. That also will exam by exam. Sandarbha yeah. making. Oh, sorry, this uh, Subodini making. Sandarbha Subodini. <laughs> yeah, mind map also. Yeah, that tomorrow I will let you know, Prabhu Mahasay, Prabhu. So okay. Yes. Thanks, Prabhu. We will start our class. So nice. We should increase the. Okay, <clears throat> come to the twenty-fourth anushada. What was the previous proposal saying? Okay, three exams are okay. What was the previous proposal saying? तदेव भक्ति अभिधेय वस्तु उत्तर एवरी वन ओपन ट्वेंटी फोर्थ अनुच्छेद ओपन युवर मूल एबल टू सी सो ओके ट्राई टू फॉलो क्लोजली ओके एंड आलो ओपन युवर ट्रांसलेशन आलो बोथ टुगेदर keep two windows together then you start seeing things tadevam bhaktireva abhideyam vastu 
इति उक्तम् तथैव श्री शुक परीक्षित संवादो पक्रमेपि व्हाट इज आवर टारगेट आवर टारगेट इज सो देयर आर सो मेनी सामुख्यम्स आर देयर दैट मींस भक्ति इज द सामुख्यम एंड ज्ञान इज आल्सो सामुख्यम दैट मींस सामुख्यम मींस इट विल कनेक्ट योरसेल्फ विद द लॉर्ड सुप्रीम परतत्वम परतत्वम दैट इज द सामुख्यम एक्चुअली सो एंड आल्सो ज्ञान इनडायरेक्टली कर्म योग एंड अदर्स आल्सो out of that what what is the best one abhideya means should be practiced what what samukhyam we should practice abhideya means the process should be practiced so what is that that is bhakti till now we established that so first we took the the teachings of sutta goswami from 6 to 22 first canto second chapter then after that so we have seen narada and vyasadev samvad and in that their discussion also we understood bhakti is the abhideya and now we are going to shift to the next canto so second canto if you see so second canto starts with the answers that by the sukadev goswami's reply for the parishit maras questions you know na all of this second canto how it is started at the first canto ending so if you see in the 19th chapter parishit maras was asking the questions so what are those questions so the person is about to die so what he should hear what he should chant and what he should worship and what he should remember and also what he should should not hear what he should not remember what he should not chant and what he should not worship those things is said so shloka number is you note it if you want in the first canto 19 chapter so shloka number 38 37 and 38 purushasya iha yat karyam riyamanasya sarvatha यत्स्रोतव्यम अथो जप्यम यत्कर्तव्यम नृभि प्रभो स्मर्तव्यम भजनीयम वा ब्रूहि यद्वा विपर्ययम दिस इज अ थिंग एक्चुअली हैपेंड सो देन टू आंसर दिस इज अ श्लोका एंड श्लोका मेनी यू कैन सी इन योर बीबीडी ट्रांसलेशन आल्सो अदरवाइज व्हाट वी डिसाइड नाउ बट सो देन आंसर इज सेड बाय सुखदेव गोस्वामी इज सेइंग फर्स्ट व्हाट शुड नॉट बी हर्ड so that is said he srotavyadini rajendra nunam santi sahasra saha apashyatam atma tattvam gruheshu gruhame dhinam in this second third and fourth and these four shlokas in these third shlokas he is telling about in three shlokas he is, he is saying in these three shlokas he is saying about a materialistic man and how he waste his time and uh, those things one should not do so the person who is really want to make his life successful so he should not do these things so that is the topic actually from the topic we are trying to establish bhakti is abhideya okay srotavyadini rajendra nrunam santi sahasra saha अपश्यताम आत्मतत्व गृहेशु गृह मेधीना वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस ट्रांसलेशन इज ओ किंग देर आर थाउजेंड्स ऑफ टॉपिक्स दट कैन बी हर्ड फॉर दोज हु डोंट इंक्वायर अबाउट द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड दोज हु आर अटैच टू द हाउस सो इन दिस श्लोक वट इज द क्रिया इन दिस क्रिया इज santi so what kim samti kani santi srotavyadini that means things to be heard there are so many are there for whom sahasra sah santi how many are there thousands of are there for for whom runam for the people runam means for the people so sahasra means thousands 
শ্রোতব্য জিনিস টু বি হার্ড সো থিংস টু বি হার্ড সো নৃণাম হাট কাইন্ড অফ পিপুল অপশ্যতাম আত্মতত্ব অপশ্যতাম দ্যাট মিনস নট সিইং সো হাট নট দে আর নট হাট দে আর নট সিইং আত্মতত্ব দে আর নট সিইং দি আত্মতত্ব ফর দ্যাট কাইন্ড অফ পিপুল সো থৌজেন্ডস অফ থিংস আর দেয়ার টু হার গৃহেশু গৃহমেদী নাম অ্যান্ড হাট এলস দে আর অলসো অ্যাটাচ টু হাউস গৃহেশু গৃহমেধী নাম দ্যাট মিনস পিপুল হু আর অ্যাটাচ টু দ্য হাউস হোল্ড লাইফ ফর দেম থৌজেন্ডস অফ থিংস আর দেয়ার টু হিয়ার হাউ টু earn money to build house how to become prestigious person in the society and how to do that do this about the body and also the relations related to the body and other things they have millions and thousands of things are there gruheshu ityadi now you see the next sanskrit gruheshu ityadikam upalakshanam bahirmukhanam here in this shloka what is said gruha gruheshu gruhamedhinam so they are attached to the house they are attached to the house that means they are not attached to the paratattvam they are attached to the house means they are bahirmukha they are vimukha vaimukhyam is there apashyatam atmatattvam also it is, is clearly said they are not seeing atmatattvam means what bhagavat tattvam here atmatattvam means bhagavat tattvam apashyatam means not seeing they are not seeing the atmatattvam so why here ap atmatattvam means bhagavat tattvam we should take because that is going to be established it will be established in the in the future text actually so that's why here you should take atmatattvam as ভগবত শ্লোক নিগমায়তি সো ইট ইস সামড আপ ফাইনালি হি সেস ইন দি ফস্ট ফোর শ্লোক হি ইস এক্সপ্লেনিং অবাউট দি দ লাইফ অফ মেটেরিয়ালিস্টিক পার্সন নেক্সট শ্লোক আলসো ইফ ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু সি আই উইল জাস্ট ওপেন ইউর ফার্স্ট সেকেন্ড ক্যান্ট অফ ফার্স্ট চ্যাপ্টার সো সেকেন্ড শ্লোক অলরেডি উই হ্যাভ সিন তসমাদ ভারত শ্রোতব্যাধি second shloka uh, third shloka is after that shloka is nidraya hiriyate naktam vevaye na chava vaya divache arthe haya rajan kutumbha bharane nava and what this materialistic person will do he is attached to the house and he is having the thousands of things to hear and also what he does he will spend his day time by the earning livelihood and night time he spent by the sleep so like this so his whole life is spent nidraya divacha artehaya rajan kutumba bharnena that means to maintain his family he has to earn money so that's why whole day he is searching for the money next ফোর্থ শ্লোক ওয়াট ইস সেইং দেহ পত্য কলত্রাদিষ্বাত্মসৈন্যেষ্বসস্বপি তেষাম প্রমত্ব নিধনম পশ্যন্নপি ন পশ্যতি অ্যান্ড লাইক দিস হি ইজ দেহ অপত্য কলত্রাদিষু আত্মসৈন্যেষু অথসু তেষাম প্রমত্ত নিধন পশ্যন্ন পশ্যতি সো হাট ইস দ মিনিং অফ দিস শ্লোক সো হি ইজ কমপ্লিটলি বিবিল্ডর্ড হি ইজ পশ্যন্ন পশ্যতি হি ইজ সিং বট নট সিং হি ইজ সিং অলসো বট নট সিং হাট হি ইজ সিং অ্যান্ড হাট হি ইজ নট সিং হি ইজ সিং হি ইজ ওয়াইফ his children his parents his relatives all are actually not permanent with him they are not permanent relations they he doesn't have any permanent relations with them but still tesham pramattaha being that means pramattaha means inattentive 
सो ही इज बींग इन एंटेटिव इन दीज रिलेशन सो वाट निधनम पश्यन न पी न पश्यति सो दे आर लिविंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ हिमसेल इन फ्रंट ऑफ हिज आईज सो हिज मदर वॉज देअर from the childhood he was taking she was taking care of him very nicely and when he got the age of 50 so his mother left and after that his father left and after that his relatives his uncles his aunts everything everyone is leaving in their body and he is seeing all these are all temporary how he was having the bondage even he is having so much bondage with them so much loving relations and everyone is keep on his friends who are his schoolmates and after getting the age of 60 you'll be hearing that friend left this friend left this friend left like this our senior he is died so like this he is every day getting the messages in the his uh, whatsapp group so his 10th class whatsapp group and also in the different different community groups he is getting every day message but he is hearing all the news news but finally he thinks that he also still plans that and i will be permanent and i am going to be here only pashyan api na pashyati he will even after seeing this much he will never understand what is the goal of the life and then this material life is not permanent and these relations are not permanent and i should not waste my time here i should look for the permanent thing so these relations are not permanent then what is a permanent relation so what is the ultimate truth so after death what is going to happen so where they are going so what they do so like this he never think what he will do so simply he will discuss oh he got this some kind of heart attack and his children didn't take in the time and he left his body he they could have taken right time so they could have taken properly he could have lived for the few more years like that he will think but are anyway he died and he has to die then what is the finally we should look for what for what we should look for he will never discuss that final thing only intermediate whatever the things so are not happened and are intermediate causes some immediate causes he will always think about that only this they didn't do that they didn't do like this like that oh my mother left because doctors didn't do operate nicely it's a it's just they are bogus and he will blame them but are one day at any cost at any day so they have to live then so i also have to leave this body what should i do for this they don't think so this is the problem actually this is a problem of the society so he is seeing pashyanna pi na pashyati so then sukadev gosai he is explaining the the nature of the materialistic person in this uh, three shlokas then he is saying that finally तस्मात्तमागवाश्वरो हरि श्रोतव्य कीर्ति स्मर्तव्यता सो दे से ओ भारत देर फोर लॉर्ड हरि हू इज द डिस्ट मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल मोस्ट नेसेसरी एंड हू रिमूव सफरिंग शुड बी हर्ड अबाउट शुड बी हर्ड अबाउट ग्लोरीफाइड एंड रिमेम्बर by those desiring freedom from fear so then finally what he is saying so shravanam kirtanam he is saying of hari so that means one should heard about hari and one should glorify hari one should remember hari so this is the final thing he is uh, recommending that means that great sage sukadev goswami he is not saying that they should do nishkama karma yoga they should do the gnana brahma gnana they should practice or they should go for the yeah ashtanga yoga he is not saying all this but what he is saying he is saying he, they should hear hari and they should glorify hari they should remember hari that means bhakti is the is the abhidheya so person materialist persons what they should do they should do bhakti sila jivago swami will be discussing in the all these cantos majorly so he is establishing in few anushedas bhakti is the abhideya because why he is doing this we understood from the tatva sandarbha that what is the ultimate pramana for us so ultimate pramana to discuss this anubandha chatushtayam that means to 
to know the sambandha abhideya prayojana so what is the ultimate uh, pramana that is shrimad bhagavatam so shrimad bhagavatam in this whole universe so what is the best uh, pramana to know about the paratattvam that is shrimad bhagavatam so that's why in that shrimad bhagavatam everywhere what is said that we have to know what process is recommended for the audience whoever is going to study this book what is 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 recommended what process is recommended at different different situations now we are seeing the situation what situation the person who is materialistic man so for him what is recommended we have seen and previously we have seen in the so vasudev and the so uh, narada samvada in that samvada also in that discussion in that conversation also we are seeing so what narada is recommending for the so for the vasudev to compile the so why for his despondency for his so lack of the, the satisfaction for that what is the solution he is recommending so that is in that context also we understood but is bhakti is the abhideya so in this shloka tasmad bharata sarvatma sarvatma means preshtatva maha bharata oh, that means parikshit is addressed as bharata here tasmad bharata so harihi srotavya kirtitavya smartavya hari should be heard about hari should be chanted hari should be remembered by whom ichchata abhayam that means people who ever is desiring fearlessness so and what kind of hari hari is sarvatma hari is bhagavan hari is ishwaraha three visheshna adjectives are used for the hari hari is sarvatma that means sarvatma means what we should understand here preshtatvam that means he is dearest next hari is bhagavan that means he is most beautiful hari is ishwaraha means he is the controller so from this you can't without control we cannot function actually so that's why it is important to have avashyakatvam hari is necessary and also hari means the word hari itself what it is indicating bandharitvam that means hari relieve you from all the attachments from the entanglements he will relieve you from all these abhayam in the shloka what who should worship that hari the people who ever is desiring abhayam abhayam means what here moksham moksham abhayam means here moksham mokshastu sarva klesha shanti purvaka bhagavat prapti reva iti gneyam so what is the meaning of moksham here so here moksham means sarva klesha shanti purvaka that means that means free from all sufferings so first this will happen then after that bhagavat prapti liberation means attaining the lord after becoming free from all sufferings free from all sufferings okay so that means parikshit ask question sukadev so goswami started replying to that and in that context so materialistic man is advised to do this bhakti so from this we are understanding bhakti is avadeya next we will go to the next anusheda etad anantaram virat dharanam mukta तद अपवादेनाटेशन ऑन द यूनिवर्सल फॉर्म इन देम चाप्टर भक्ति इज देकमेंडेड वैल रिजेक्टिंग दट मेडिटेशन सो सी वाट इज अ फ्लो फ्लो ऑफ श्रीमद भागवत इफ यू नो इट विल बी वेरी ईजी फॉर यू so in this in this second kind of first chapter what is going to happen next so he is telling about the materialistic man and after that he is recommending for him bhakti then after that he will be describing what he is going to describe he is going to describe the ashtanga yoga 
So he will be describing the, the eight limbs of the Ashtanga Yoga. So then after hearing the Ashtanga Yoga, King got one doubt. What is that doubt? Yatha Sandharite Brahman Dharana Yatra Sammata Yadrushiva Hare Dashu Purushasya Manomalam. Everyone is able to follow or not? Any difficulty? Are you able to follow? So what I am going to say in the first chapter, what is happening? Second canto, first chapter, what is happening? I am saying. So in the second canto, first chapter, if you have Subodhini, you can also easily uh, understand that. In this first, first second canto, first chapter, first uh, 11 slokas, Sukadeva Goswami answers Parishit Maharaj's questions in brief by stating the superiority of bhakti. Then after that 12 to 14, in the first chapter 12 to 14, quantity of the life matters, not qu quality of the life matters, not quantity. And 15 to 39, he is going to explain Ashtanga Yoga and then 2021 he is explaining about the Dharana and after that 24, 25 so he is going to explain the neophytes they should meditate on the Virat Rupa and 29 to 37 how to meditate on the Virat Rupa he is explaining. One, two, okay, 15. One, two, 11. One, two, 11 is about superiority of the bhakti. Then, then after that, Ashtanga Yoga is from where? 15, 15 to 20, 19, 15 to 19. Ashtanga Yoga, okay. Next. 24 to uh, This Ashtanga Yoga is having the eight limbs. This fifth one is Dharana. So if Dharana, this stage, this stage, if someone's heart is not cleaned, If someone's heart is not clean, he is saying this meditation about this Ashtanga Yoga process, but he is saying that after that, after describing these eight steps, so six steps, sorry. So after describing the eighth, Eight steps, dharana, dharana, for the dharana, one's heart should be clean. If his heart is not clean, then what he should do? Then that person is, that yogi whose heart is not clean, should 
should meditate on should meditate on viratu so that is explained in 20 Uh, 24 to eh, 37 or 38. Eh, 37. Thirty-seven. 24 to 37 he is explaining. Then that yogi what he should do? This is Virat. And he should meditate on the here Patala. So, like that, different planets. He should meditate on the different planets on the limbs of Virat. By doing this, what will happen? His heart is clean. His heart is clean. Okay. This is the philosophy. This way, first chapter goes of the. Second canto, first chapter. Second canto, first chapter's flow is like this. First, he told about the superiority of the bhakti. Then he told Ashtanga Yoga, and someone is not able to follow the dharana. That means for that purification of heart is demanded. So then that is not there. Then he should meditate on the Virat. Okay, this is the flow. Now, after explaining this, what he is saying, this yogi, after once his heart is clean, finally he should worship in the 39th sloka, he is saying, what he is saying, he should worship Abhajet, that means he should worship uh, Satyam Bhajeta, he should worship Garbodaka Sai Vishnu. Garbodaka Sai Vishnu, who is Antaryami of Virat. Antaryami of Virat. That is a point here. What Jiva Goswami is taking, ultimately, that person, that yogi, should meditate on the Supreme Lord, Hari. Meditate means smaranam. That means should. Shravanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam. He should meditate on the Hari only. So that means ultimately, this bhakti process. Smaranam is the part of the bhakti. Is the one anga of the bhakti. So that 39 sloka is telling about he should worship Garbhadaka Sai Vishnu, who is the Antaryami of Virat. So what is that sloka? That is this. See, now you try to understand 26 Thanusheda. You can easily get. Eta Dhanantaram. That means after the first 10, 11 slokas. Virat Dharanam Uktva. So that means Virat Dharanam is said in 24 to 37. After the 11th sloka, Ashtanga Yoga described. Then after that, whoever is having the uh, contamination in the heart should meditate on the Virat. That's why Virat Dharanam Uktva. Virat Dharanam is said in the 24 to 37. Virat Dharanam Uktva. Kim Tad apavade na pi that means you should not apavada means which is eliminate that and come forcibly it will 
just to kick it out it kicks out and comes apavada means that one apavada is more powerful actually so here virat dharana meditating on the virat is there meditating on the garbhodaka sai vishnu is there so meditating on the garbhodaka sai vishnu is the apavada for the meditating on virat so that's why this meditating on the garbhodaka sai vishnu is the apavada overtakes its removes and tad apavade napi tam bhakti meva aha that means bhakti is said that means what his sukadev goswami is saying one should do smaranam dharana means it comes under the which category of the navada bhakti smaranam so one should meditate one should do the worship of antaryami okay this is the see etadanantaram virad dharanam uktva tad apavay ap tad apavade napi tam bhakti maha in where that is in the 39th shloka bhakti is said so that's why ultimately meditating on the virat rup also should lead to the bhakti every materialistic man should write uh, should worship the hari even if you write any book that should emphasize on bhakti from the vasanarada somewhere there you are understand if you write any book that should be the about the bhakti then your heart will be happy otherwise if you don't emphasize bhakti then you will be not happy from this yes ashay gorang prabhu just small question so yes. um, after uh, virat ru um, the goswami uh, proposed that meditate on virat ru plus antara that is uh, garudak shay vishnu so prior to that there was ashtanga yoga in that also there was meditation So was that also for Garudaksha Vishnu or someone for whom it was meant that that Ashtang Yoga meditation? Before that, this before, before Virat Rupa. Ah, uh, before Virat Rupa, Ashtang Yoga. He is saying about the Lord only. Uh, which Ashtanga. Lord? Uh, it was also for Garudaksha Vishnu. Ah uh, no, that it meditation. is it is simply said as Lord actually. So that was also Smaranam, yeah. That was uh, also Bhakti. no actually ashtanga yoga he said and uh, in general he described ashtanga yoga is having the these eight limbs and then after that he is explaining about the many ashtanga yoga process in that dharana that's the sixth stage demands the cleaning of heart and if whose heart is not cleansed must worship he he said generally the ashtanga yoga process in general ashtanga yoga process he said so in the first uh, what is going to happen so like 16 shloka yama live home and practice self control niyama and bathe regularly as at a sacred place asana sit down in a secluded and sanctified next pranayam he explains and he may remember om and regulate breathing and pratyahara withdraw mind from the sense activities dharana fix the mind with intelligence on the lord's form so generally he said lord's form who is your paramatma so who is there in your heart so meditate on that that is dharana and dhyana meditate on the each limbs of the lord so who is inside the paramatma is there on his each limbs he should meditate and finally samadhi so he explained this that means meditating on the paramatma who is in the everyone's heart then after that so but someone is not able to do that dharana that means he is not able to meditate on his paramatma then he has to meditate on the virat rupa so so that because his mind is still materialistic so that's why he should meditate on the virat it is easy to meditate on the virat because that is also material form then that will purify the heart that will purify the heart
that meditation will purify the heart because he will understand that whole lord is only the is samishti purusha is everything is 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 the lord actually this whole universe this phenomenal nominal universe is non different from the supreme lord that he will understand actually by this meditation that will purify then he will understand everything sum total is so whatever there is a cause for my sense agitation that is nothing but the that means a product coming from the lord that he is the ultimate shelter of everything so that's why finally he should shift to the his meditation from uh, virat to the antaryami of that virat that is garbhodak sai vishnu finally so like this so and that means that that 39 shloka is saying that he should worship garbhodak sai vishnu bhajeta he is saying bhajeta not only simply meditation here it is said bhajeta is said so from this jiva goswami is claiming so after purifying neophyte yogi purifying his heart he should worship garbhodak sai vishnu not only meditation worship bhajeta what is said so that means he can do other things also and uh, bhakti this, is established yes this each shloka having one one like yama one shloka like that or eight shloka Sixth sloka is having the yama, niyama, and asan. Sixteenth sloka. Sixteenth sloka. Having three. Sloka, yama, niyama, and asana. Seventeenth pranayama, and eighteenth pratyahara and dharana. Nineteenth dhyana and samadhi. Okay. So Garudakshay Vishnu comes in picture at thirty-nine sloka. and prior to that ashtanga yoga it was not specific to any particular lord but it was the process for uh, purification but that process was not working because of not having purification then it, virat rupa comes in picture then yes. virat rupa purifies the heart and yes. when virat rupa purifies the heart then one can turns toward parmatma garbhodak sai vishnu that then which will come to bhakti so see after purification of the heart there is a two possibilities one can worship the garbhodak sai vishnu or one can come back and worship on parmatma also that is also possibility is there but here what is recommended so one should worship the garbhodak sai vishnu so that means bhakti is established after the meditating on the virat purusha bhakti is recommended actually that's the point we are bringing understanding clear or not okay. yeah, it's clear so far and then we'll hear the tick outs of the sloka i think will be more clear. okay <clears throat> because if we don't know the context na so the thing what jiva goswami is saying you will not understand actually so that's why you should know pre- clearly the context this is the thing happening uh, context yeah. what uh, i understood that from this shloka particular shloka huh. satyam ananda nidhim bhajet huh. this shloka he uh, sukde goswami turning turning toward towards bhakti yes after we are to discuss this turning yes. toward bhakti yes who is raising hand ah uh, yeah gokulanand po Sorry, may I may we just explain this before? But I want to understand. Close, right close. I am not able to hear. Okay. Ah, uh, now. Ah. Uh. Yes. When when you say meditating in Garbo da Kasai Vishnu, um, what is the difference? That because in in the Mula says Narayana, so how we come to Garbo da Kasai Vishnu, and uh, and what's the difference? with the other yogi who is meditating in paramatma because these are all purusha avatars which are all aspects of para yeah, there are all paramatma so how this uh, subtle distinction is how how this subtle distinction between like garbhodaka sai vishnu antaryami and narayana who are referring to the same but it seems that It, it is not the same to meditate on antaryami than meditating on garbhodaka sai vishnu i'm confused about 
here in 39 sloka we are going to see so that yogi who purified his heart by the meditating on virat should worship should worship garbhodaka sai vishnu garbhodaka sai vishnu because he should understand this virat rupa is not final it is not the ultimate truth behind this there is the lord Na narayana that's lord supreme lord is there antaryami is there and that is a fact actually that should be worship that is the point we are understanding and now you are asking what is the subtle difference between the paramatma in the heart and antaryami of the virat purusha that that you are asking yes because first the, the yogi who is advanced the, uh -huh. the the one who is doing dharana uh -huh. he's meditating on the limbs of the lord uh -huh. and then we have the yogi who is not that advanced so he's recommended to meditate on viral rupa but when he advances he again is recommended to um, uh, ship from viral rupa to garbo the kasai vision so at that point what is the difference between the one who is doing dharana and uh -huh. this yogi who now is meditating on Garbo Dakasai Vishnu, is the same or is different? Dharana of what? Dharana of? Dharana uh -huh. uh, is meditating on the limbs of the Lord. Uh, that is said in the, the Ashtanga Yoga. Yeah, that's the first yogi. That, uh, that is said in the 19th sloka. Okay. Yes. Then we uh. have the one who is meditating on Virat Who is not Rupa. able to do that, then he yes, has to because, Virat Rupa. Because, yeah, he's not that advanced. Uh. So, but after meditating for a while on Viral uh, Rupa, uh, he has to shift uh, his meditation to Garbo Dakasai Vishnu. So at that point, what is the difference between this yogi who now is meditating on Garbo Dakasai Vishnu uh, with the advanced yogi who has been meditating uh, on, yes. the, uh, on the limbs? Is, is the same meditation or is that? different process so yes you see in the ashtanga yoga that is explained in the 16 to 16 to 19 there you see you can see clearly uh, it's the process is, is recommended as ashtanga yoga process that process is ashtanga yoga process so there you cannot say through that Ashtanga Yoga process, you cannot say that there is a bhakti. It's not necessary. If someone is meditating, what I said from uh, this, this Ashtanga Yoga process is explained in 16 to 19. Yes, 16, 17, 18, 19. In this, one is meditating on the so limbs of the so Lord, Paramatma who is in the heart. So here, when you, any yogi, advanced yogi, any yogi meditates on the limbs of the Lord, it is not necessary that he is having the divine version. Ashtanga yoga is not, comes under, it will not come under the devotional process. Just yogi should make something as object for the meditation. Okay, yogis, they need some object for the meditation. And he is taking the that object as the Supreme Lord, and he is meditating on the limbs of the Supreme Lord. Then they will get if he doesn't develop some loving relations with the Lord, and that means is there is no devotion, just he is doing the process of meditation, following the process of meditation. Then he will go to the he will get the that kind of yogi, he will get either this. That means these five kinds of the mukti he will get. Five kinds of the mukti. What are those? Saijya, Salokya, Samipya, Sarupya, and Sarushti. So this kind of mukti he will get. Okay? That is the result. But if you see, if someone is, what we are seeing, 39 sloka, so neophyte yogi, that means who is not able to meditate on this Paramatma and should worship on the should meditate on the limbs of the virat and finally he should do 
you should worship you should worship the garbhodaka sai vishnu in 39 we are going to see so this worship is worship is said it's not just dharana you should do so worship means it is bhakti it is bhakti actually so that means finally he is in this conclusion of this chapter he is saying bhakti actually here bhakti is there that's the difference but if you meditate on the garbhodaka sai vishnu simply without any devotion then that is also like that only you will get the salokya samapi this kind of mukti so if you meditate on the garbhodaka sai vishnu and finally so you you are living the body through the uh, shat chakra yoga so then you will go and merge into the body of the yeah karanano sai vishnu leaving the all the uh, layers and finally you will go and merge into the vishnu body final vishnu body any vishnu body that is a sai ji mukti you will get but if you develop the relations loving relations then you will get the service service of the law that's the differences are there so bhajeta jiv gosam is taking the point of bhajeta so that's why he is saying bhakti meva aha in the 39 shloka bhakti is said not the just dharana process of the ashtanga yoga but bhakti is said that is the main point okay understanding yeah, yeah. slok number uh, 19 padam tat paramam vishnu mano yatra prashitati so that meditation of that ashtanga yogi was meant for vishnu which vishnu means was it uh, kirudakshin paramatma paramatma is kirudakshin i wish to who is in your heart that was uh, heart to paramatma is kirudakshin i wish and now this is garbhodakshin i wish yes that here one word is added that is satyam anandam bhajet bhajet the word is addition which is bhakti yes okay clear yeah shri chan prabhu hari krishna prabhu Uh, one question why specifically garbhodakshay vishnu is told here meditate on garbhodakshay vishnu ah, or worship garbhodakshay vishnu yes prabhu because he at the point is uh, that neophyte yogi is meditating on the universal form that's virat mm-hmm. rupa and mm-hmm. who is antaryami of virat rupa that means garbhodakshay vishnu that means he should not see the just material form but he should see the so inside to that that means whoever is garbhodak sai because virat purusha is also coming from the garbhodak sai vishnu so the virat purusha's limbs are so mm-hmm. configuration of their limbs his limbs are according to the configuration of garbhodak sai vishnu that's why that's the reason and prabhu the secondary results one it's, it's given there that one should not be attached to secondary results of meditating on virat rupa uh, uh, so what are the secondary results prabhu uh, that is said in the next chapter actually second result so if you meditate on the virat rupa you will be getting the power to uh, different uh, powers you will get like you can experience everything so you can experience the various living entities how they are getting pleasure that you can also experience are you able to see Uh, are you able to understand? So, who you, someone, someone opposite person is there, and he is experiencing through his senses some ex thing. Then that, if you want, you can also experience that kind of power. You will get. Even Brahma Ji is meditating on the Virat Rupa, and he is able to do the secondary creation by meditating on the Virat Rupa. He will get the knowledge. These kind of results one will getting. Yeah. Okay. Yes, okay next ramchandra prabhu class is over so anyone wants to leave they can leave hari krishna prabhu yeah so prabhu just just one quick question is like uh, so in the second chapter uh, as you mentioned that uh, like uh, initially like uh, sukhdev goswami starts speaking on the on answering the question of uh, of prashit maharaj and then he already said tasmat bharat sarvatma so he is already uh, established bhakti there then what is the uh, why is this this astanga yoga process in between introduced like there ah that's good question so the reason is 
Parishit Maharaj is asking. So, what he said, if you... Uh, no, no, no. He says, not Parishit Maharaj, after establishing bhakti, uh, in the 11th sloka, till 11th sloka, you'll be seeing the establishing bhakti. Then after that, Parishit Maharaj, Sukadeva Goswami, in general, he is saying, so that's why household life is bad and one should not attach to the house and he should do the bhakti. Then he explains, so then he explains uh, one should not attach to the house and he should leave the house and follow the strictly follow the controlling of the body yama niyama like that he, that flow goes so he, he he just one should not attach the house and leave the house he said that's then leaving the house leave the home and practice the self control so he is explaining like that and then ashtanga yoga he said leave the house then after that regularly bathe in the sacred places Go to the different Tirdasthalas, take the bathing there. That is a niyama actually. And then after that, try to practice. That means sitting in one place and then do the pranayam so that you can control your senses. Then after that, do the. So, uh, so first pranayam you can do, then by that doing pranayam pratyahar. Like that, he explained Ashtanga Yoga process. So then he got doubt, someone is not able to do this, then what they should do. Like that it went. That is a flow actually. So this Ashtanga Yoga is recommended for people who, who, who cannot do bhakti or like, like uh, or, or, or a grasta has to definitely leave the house and do this. Like, is that? Uh... Uh, uh, of course, he is saying like this here, then finally he is establishing bhakti only. So that's why summary is the one should do the bhakti wherever you are there. In the house or the in the living this. Okay, okay, bro. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Got it, bro. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, bro. That means after explaining everything, he is finally in the ending of this chapter, he is saying the bhakti only. Bhajeta. That's why. Sure, bro. Okay. Thank you, bro. Okay, bro. Hare Krishna.